information technology system that all questions the operating system is an important computer of a component fine operating the film operating system boy oh boy a whole three marks to define the film operating system a real wicked boy. so let's say everything we know about operating system it is the system software that acts as an intermediary between the hardware and the application program ensuring application get access to the hardware needed right basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to say the os is the center the hardware is below here and the apps on top here the apps have to go through the os to get to the hardware to be able to get to the operating system manages all of that even though the operating system manages other things um when they say define the term operating system that's 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 plenty that's like that's a wide a wide range of things you could say. So, three examples of operating system software, Mac OS, um, Android, iOS, and Windows. If you want to go, if you want to get technical, you could hit them the next two. Um, outline two functions of operating system. Then you have memory management, then you have input output management. And well, then you have security, security management too. You have um, file management and uh, user interface. All of them should be good. All of them should be good. Okay, memory management. The uh, OS determines how to allocate memory to programs that are being run. Programs that are being run. Yeah, that's good enough for two months. Input output management. The uh, devices that are connected were given instruction by a driver on how to behave in certain circumstances. Basically, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I go wrong there. Um, over the last 20 years open source software has become a viable alternative to proprietary software it is widely used by large corporations and individuals for important outline on one difference between proprietary source software and open source software one difference oh, that's easy proprietary highly on either, um, one time or subscription and two would be open source sorry open source is free to you and modify yeah discuss two benefits associated with proprietary source software all right when you get proprietary software you usually have stability and updates stability the software goes through more rigorous testing than open source you didn't ask about open source i should mention that was true yeah through rigorous testing to ensure maximum efficiency and as little as possible updates the software is updated regularly because there is an update cycle that the company follows great wonderful okay next uh -huh. profitable you'll get profitable innovative so that's one point profitable and innovative oh yeah you'll get it profitable the, the, the innovative one yeah, you ain't gonna get it you, you can't sell the innovative you'll get profitable oh okay cool oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the carrot mm -hmm. yeah that, that is mm -hmm. yeah cool that is acceptable all right so now define each of the following terms a computer network a computer network is a set of devices on the that communicate with each other via via a transmission medium yeah communication of devices via transmission medium should be okay keywords will be communicating with each other devices communicating with each other on transmission medium yeah that'll be keywords yeah. and network topology is a way of setting up how devices on a network communicate with other example star string mm -hmm. your school canteen has three computers and one printer you have been asked to design a computer network for this canteen so just two topologies that could be used you could use star and Idea. Justifier selection for it could be a bus too, but I don't know. I guess you justifier selection of one topology. You start with three marks. Um, a star network allows people no allow for the addition of more devices easily because they connect to a central node a central switch a switch making addition easier i don't know if you want they want us to compare um bus and ring and say well ring and bus do this and do that that kind of thing uh, i say 
Oh. You're a wicked to choose bus boy. Wow. <laughs> what is bus compared to what? Compared to star? No, wait, what did you choose in part one? Star and bus? Nah, they will kill you. They, they, nah, nah. Nah, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let you choose a bus over a star. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. At the shun of computers, if something goes down, you, the network will stay up. That, but those kind of explanations, yeah, that's what you want. That's what you want to do. Like, they literally trying to point you into choosing star over everything. But if you had a ring or bus, then you could have fight dunk bus over ring. You ain't really getting that, you ain't really getting that mark if they if you put bus over star. Alright. Define the information technology system. The you of hardware, software, networking, and users to what's the word by? to solve problem and something so it should be okay once you get them the hardware software and networking to do something in a, in a system you, you're cool there you're cool there but you must have the hardware software networking and users if you don't have all four of them i don't know what it will do if they're looking for two marks for for each one of them if they're looking for hardware and software for two marks network and users for the next two marks i can't say but um, you should have all of them and you should have that it just makes us think better makes things better list three types of information technology systems and give one example of each okay you have a uh, Wait now, they want an example? Wow, okay, let's TPS, Transaction Processing System. That is like a supermarket, supermarket, um, cashier system. Yeah, point of sale will be cool, yeah. Um, then you have a uh, expert system. It'll be like a uh, web, webmd.com, tech symptom, and give um, a diagnosis. Serious, eh? Serious expert system? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. You'll get that, you'll get it. You, you ask a question and you'll get an answer. That is corroborated from all the information in the world. All right, okay. And then you have a MIS. I have no idea what is an example of a management information system. Like who knows what a, I find. I find the real wicked here, but management information system. They want the students to give an example. I guess it does not have to be a real example. Let's be okay. A system. A system in a retail store that shows the top selling item. Yeah. Yeah. They okay with that. They okay with that. Bye. Um, executive would be like um something that predicts quarterly earnings for Amazon or online store, some kind of thing like that. <laughs> yeah, executive systems that's that's, that's that's like a lot of financial talk kind of stuff. <laughs> Trust me, most most people don't know. I find sometimes there's there's like assume that children like have gone through life now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, you've experienced so many things so that you could give examples because you have 10 years of experience or something. Yeah, if that sense, huh? Well, you had to show, you had to show, you had to show that some information coming in. You have to show. Nah, that's not an information system. That's, a, that's just a, that's just a sense. That, that ain't taking any information and processing it in any way. Anyway, any way, anyway. That, that would be considered, at least not on this syllabus. Alarm system that will check multiple cameras to determine if the, um, if there was an intruder or something. Like that. It would have to do, it would have to do more information processing and anything so it could be like fish recognition or some kind of thing like that control system is not your best answer the tps expert mis or eis would be before go to work right. Uh, right the two components of our information technology system given two functions of each <laughs> you maximum to explain now by all right you need hardware software networking and users there you go with hardware and software you must have hardware and you must have software the hardware provides a physical um, medium for person to interact with a system example, a mouse. and then two would be it um it facilitates the processing of information that comes into the system example cpu yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 cool 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 if you get them the input process output you should be safe if you hit them input and you talk about input devices or then you talk about process and then you talk about output money you see um yeah and users and expert users will be the user one i'll, I'll go through that as um software you would have software gives you um um application that are tailored to the task at hand the task needed or the system and then you have system software system software that provide the infrastructure needed or the hardware and software to work yeah. and then if you them the users you have the expert user and then you have the regular user expert user will be the one that is knows how to configure the system regular users will be one that use it and give you feedback based on and networking if you, if you give them networking you could talk about communication and uh, Networking kind of hard to explain because network gives you the ability to communicate, but it also gives you the ability to, uh, to have security or, or regulate what happens on, on, on the system. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend you use networking. Networking in, in this type of question, networking is not too good. Not too good.
for. Right. A business wants to implement a new security system. You have been hired as an IT specialist to design the system. Um, so just four security measures this information technology system could have and outline the main feature of each measure. Off marks so these words. Two marks each one. We want to implement a new security system. Oh wow. Okay. A firewall password encryption. Firewall passwords encryption. What was the fourth one by virus protection? But is that a security system? I don't know. Biometric, um, biometrics, passwords. Yeah, but you put biometric here. Yeah, you do. You, you you can't really tell what the what the security system would have if it, is it going to be on a computer with a bunch of cameras and the cameras are going to be linked back to the computer and they have somebody sitting on behind it. Is it multiple computers? Yeah, that kind of, kind of thing. So yeah, that's yeah, how to be like generic. So biometric could work. Well, could virus protection because I just feel as as usually the 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 the, 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 the road that they go on with these to be like all right let's get them let's find a creative way to, for them to explain virus protection and firewalls and stuff right so we started firewall um the firewall would protect so we don't know if it's on a network we don't even know if it's on a network but if it's an information technology system and i guess it should be on a uh, network yeah firewall protects the system from unwanted traffic or malicious packets uh, packet that may be coming in two passwords passwords the users of the system should have a strong passwords at uh, 8 to 16 characters and alpha numeric um, and alpha numeric yes. okay, something like that that's cool right encryption the data that is stored for the system should be encrypted so that even if it's stolen so that even if it is stolen it can and the last one virus protection yeah, yeah, yeah restricting access that's cool yeah, yeah that's good um for virus protection uh, anti-virus software would um scan the computers and uh, find any bad software and delete or quarantine quarantine yeah jumping to Ooh, yeah there's just three types of human computer interaction that will increase the effectiveness of the security system what the real wild here now but now we have to assume that at the system in on a computer or multiple computers what will increase the effectiveness of the i like with natural manipulation we'll go with gui and we'll go with menu driver definitely you can't say command line because command line will make it hard to use and the other one is uh, natural language you don't want to be talking to a security system and then you say you know, cameras off and it just kind of down the system. Yeah. Those would be the three that, that would be best for today. But there's a left field question, there's a real left field question. Um, yeah, well, you wouldn't get a phone. But yeah, no, nah, because phone is natural manipulation. That was like touch. Like, if you say touch, you'll you probably get out 